it's super easy to make the trial balance with Python. Before we begin, you can watch my previous video on how to rearrange the chart of accounts, journal entries, and most importantly, the JIRA account number. This is essential as we need to extract the four columns to the journal entries table. The gist is the JIRA account number. With this JIRA account number, we build our trial balance. Let me show you how to do it. Let's try this. It works, but it shows the average for each JIRA account number. That's why I add an add function to get the sum for accounts with the same JIRA account number. Control boy. That's the result. But it only lists the account numbers and their amount without the account description, right? So where to get it? Here I've created the column JE display. This is the display column that I made. So I can simply include the display inside the index here. The display corresponds to the JR account numbers. It's where the display column is coming from. Control boy. It will match to the individual JR account numbers. Let's say this one, 1020, $120, and 480. GR1020 is accounts receivable. 120 plus 480 is 600. It will also remove all the NAs. Simply add drop NA if it's not done automatically. Let me recap. The first parameter is the source table. In our case, we look up from the table JE. The second parameter is the index, which is the column that is used when searching results. Here we use the JIRA account number for the index. The third parameter values are the columns that contain the result. In this case, we are looking for the amount AMT. Here we want to get the sum for each JIRA account, like the Excel sum ifs. So we add add func equals sum. Let's say in addition to the sum, we also look for median. Whatever, control boy. Oops, no median. Let's try min. Now it shows both the sum and min. We won't need the min amount for trial balance, but you might need the min data for other kind of projects. So you can keep adding what you want here. Control boy and get back. So it's the TB. Oops. One more thing. Comma margins equals true. If you add margins equals true and control boy, it will add up all the above amounts. By default, it shows or, so give it a name. Margins name equal, let's say, checksum. I'll explain it later, comma. Control boy. So here you see checksum equals zero. Why I include the checksum? Because in trial balance, all the debits positive and all the negative credits the result must be zero because the sum of debits and credits have to be zero. If you don't get zero in checksum, there must be something wrong in between. This is the main purpose of doing a trial balance. That's it for today. See you next video.